guys, what's up? Welcome back or to my channel. So today I have like everything on my face except for my eyes done because guess and my lips obviously because I don't know what look we're going to come out with. So we'll figure out that last. But today I'm so excited. Obviously by the title you guys know we are going to finally play with the Conspiracy Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics with Shane Dawson. It's the palette that Shane and Jeffree made. I am so excited to try this palette. Like you guys have no idea. I've literally felt like this is like buying one of those limited edition Jordans, trying to get a pair of Yeezys. Like, it is impossible. I was so scared to play with these. Like, I did not want to mess this up. I did not want to damage this poor baby. I just feel like the videos don't do this justice. Like, I literally feel like the palette looks so much better in person, which is crazy. Because I feel like it's never that way. It's always like, oh, that looks really pretty in that commercial. But when you get it, it looks worse. Like, I don't know. I just feel like, for once, this looks better than it did in the videos. I'm so scared to swatch it. I definitely want to put Trisha like right in my inner color and then do something neutral. And let's just play with this palette. Let's see what we figure out what we're going to do. These colors are all beautiful. I love the top row so much. Like it's so up my alley. Okay, we're going to go in with Tanacon because she's the one that like, she's the one I want to dip into. There is a lot of kickback. I've never used Jeffree Star eyeshadows, but there's a lot of kickback. And I feel like Jeffree definitely talks a lot about him hating kickback, so I'm surprised. I've never tried these eyeshadows before though, so... Oh my god, but this color payoff, I barely touched it. Like, what? That is insane. I literally barely touched it. Oh my god, this color payoff, though? I don't even know what I'm doing yet. I'm gonna take a little bit of diet root beer. She's so pretty. Yeah, all these little stencils are so cute. Like, I cannot deal. I kind of want to go in a little bit with cheese dust. Now, the back of the palette does say that some of these colors are not eye safe, which is pretty cool. I know a bunch of eyeshadows do that, though. It says, cheese dust, sleep paralysis, food vibes, my pills... Trisha, um, not a fact. Flaming hot pigments are not intended to use around the immediate eye area. That's crazy because they're all like the super like bright colors that I'm like, okay, they'll stain. But what's wrong with my pills? Like it's it's literally the lightest, second lightest color in the palette. I'm so confused. I'll take a little bit of cheese dust. I'm scared. Now I am going to take a little bit of my pill, even though it says to not use this around the immediate eye area, but uh, here we go. Me, I don't, I don't get why it says that, but okay. So I think we're going to go in with Trisha right in the inner corner just to give it that pop take a little bit of not a fact right on my under corner the under eyelid i don't know what this is called okay okay i think trisha is what's best to use here we are going to take trisha on this little flat brush have i ever done a bright color like this no okay i'm gonna go ahead and take ranch and just use that right on my brow bone. Does this look wild? Yes. Am I going to go put eyeliner and then do pink on the outside of that liner? Yes. I'll be back after I do that. <laughs> Cute. Okay, look at that. Pink queen. I went ahead and I added a little purple liner. I like these like bright colors. Just to give it a little more. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and I'll be right back. So this was the look that I came up with with the conspiracy palette. I'm a This is the look that I created with the Conspiracy Palette by Shane and Jeffrey. I am so obsessed with it. I'm not going to do swatches. I'll do some on my Instagram if you guys want to have whole highlights that is called swatches. Which is like literally one of my favorite hobbies is swatching anything. So if there's anything you guys want me to swatch, let me know over there. But then I know that so many people on videos have already swatched everything. So I'll do some swatches over there. I'm going to go film some TikToks now because I'm a TikTok star. Just kidding. I'm definitely not. But um, yeah, I'm like so excited. Like literally guys, I feel like this is literally like waiting for limited edition Jordans. Comment below any video ideas. We just got a lid. We just got a letter, a letter from our friends. <laughs> and congratulations to Shane and Jeffrey. This was beautiful and everybody else who worked on this. Such a beautiful palette. Congrats, guys. I cannot wait for another. I think I definitely need to get my hands on the mini, but I want to wait till they launch the new mini. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you pretty faces in the next one. Bye, guys.